Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the wrench. Today I'm doing a video inside because it's 97 degrees here in Florida and this video doesn't require me to be outside. So take a look at what we're doing here today. Please subscribe. Here in Florida we have hurricanes. So I tend to bury my supplies. Things like emergency foods. This is prepackaged. This is good for three days. It's uh, approved by the American Coast Guard, it's watertight, it's dry food, and it's good for a minimum of five years. That can easily go into my bucket. I have many other things that go into my bucket as well, and I choose just to use Ziploc baggies. So anything that I do, like this pocket knife for instance, I stick this stainless steel pocket knife into a freezer Ziploc baggie. Freezer bags are, are better because they're thicker and they have a double seal at the top. So I can take that, stick it inside of my bucket. You can put anything inside of the bucket that will fit. I have about six or seven bags of things that need to go into my bucket. These are tools that will go into my bucket. Each one of these tools is individually wrapped in two freezer bags and then put in one large freezer bag. A little bit of air inside of the bag will not make a difference regardless of what anyone says. I've been doing this for decades. The reason that I bury my hurricane supplies is very simple. One, <clears throat> as long as here in Florida you're below about six inches, the temperature of the sand below six inches is always right around 72 to 75 degrees. So it's perfect for keeping a nice, cool, even temperature. It could be 96 outside and it doesn't matter. A few inches below the surface and you're still in the 70 degree mark. Second, sand is great for drainage. So just like at the beach, sand can get wet, but it's large particles and the water just drains right through it. And since Florida is all sand, the water doesn't stay pooled up for very long. Third, during a hurricane, we have tornadoes and we have high winds. Trees come down, all types of things. So choosing your spot is very important. You don't want to put your bucket anywhere where tree roots can grow into it or through it and you don't want to put it underneath of a tree that may come down in a storm and block you from cutting block you from getting that bucket out of the ground so I don't care what you decide you want to bury using the proper equipment is a must and the reason that I say that is any five gallon bucket these are four dollars I think at the big box store right now any five gallon bucket is completely waterproof we all know that this is also plastic so it will not rust Yes, they do rot. You've seen them rot and cracked, especially on the side of the road, but there's a reason for that. Because when you use them and you put heavy weight in there, they flex and they'll split, and also the sun can bleach them out and damage the plastic. But this is underground, so there's no sun, there's no flex, there's no picking it up and back and forth, so there's no heavy weight flexing it. So it will last a whole lot longer than anything else you can think of. And finally, This is most important. You see that black ring right there? This is a rubber O-ring. Now, if you don't believe me, I have taken a bucket, completely sealed it, tied weights to it, and sunk it to the bottom of my pool, and I left it for three days. When I pulled it out, unlike other people on YouTube, I let it sit out in the sun for a good hour. I dried off the bucket and then let the sun dry the rest of it so that when I popped the lid back off, there was no water from the outside that accidentally spilled in. And I can tell you right now, after three days of being submerged under pressure, the inside of the bucket was completely bone dry. So the fact that I'm using multiple Ziploc baggies with multiple seals, that's the thing that will keep any moisture out of that bag. And then there's one more secret ingredient that I use. Let me show it to you. Good old fashioned kitty litter. Sorry, I'm not in the tripod, so this might be a little shaky. Good old fashioned kitty litter. I take the kitty litter and I put it at the bottom of the bucket, maybe an inch tall. That way, any moisture that gets inside of that bucket will run down through gravity, hit that kitty litter. The kitty litter will soak it up, clump and become hard, and it cannot, will not get inside of your bags. So if you have bags with multiple seals, each one of my items has a minimum of six seals that moisture has to get through. It's not in the sun, it's not in epic changes, and that's where condensation comes from, don't forget. Condensation does not just happen. Condensation takes two things, 
heat and cold. So if it's hot, and then you, you on a cold day, you pull out a, a soda can from the refrigerator, or you get an icy cold drink and put it in a cup, the cup will sweat. That's condensation. That's hot air instantly meeting cold air. But remember, we're putting this underground where there is no temperature fluctuation. The temperature fluctuation might be two to five degrees, and that's over a gradual time period, not enough to cause condensation. So there will be no condensation inside of my bucket. That bucket can handle what I put on top of it. In my case, the bucket is 15 inches tall, and I dug my hole 30 inches tall, which means it will be 15 inches below the surface of the ground. It can easily handle the dirt that's going to set on it that's only as big as the bucket and only 15 inches tall. It's easy to put in the ground. It's easy to get back up. Tornadoes can't rip it out. They might take away my shed or even my house, but they cannot tear up the ground and take away my supplies. Flooding will not hurt it because the water will not sit, and even if it does, I know that the bucket is good to handle it because I submerged it in the pool for three days at four feet. So whether you like my system or not, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think I could have done better. I also do take a little bit of Vaseline, or you can use motor oil, and put it around the rubber seal to make sure that that seal is in good condition. When you close this thing up, make sure you close it with a rubber mallet so you don't crack the bucket and you make sure it seals correctly. You'll hear it clip into place. Do that, protect your supplies. I'm gonna not show you where I did it because operational security, but my bucket is about to go into the ground where I don't have to worry about it. Now normally I pick up my buckets about every 18 months to two years, pop the top, check the contents, make sure everything's in good shape, then I put it back in the hole. But hurricane season here in Florida started yesterday, so I'm very much interested in putting my supplies into the ground so that Mother Nature or passersby cannot get to my things, and I can use them to protect myself and to take care of myself in a bad time. So I hope you all are doing well. I hope this video helps someone. Hit the like button. It's somewhere between my chin and my balls, and I'll see you soon.